Makes up the ground comfortably. Awaits for the support to arrive. Decent ball into Kagawa. Ince. But as I've said, those three have so much flexibility amongst them that the back four of West Brom might just not know who to pick up, when to pick up, who to go with. On that occasion, that was definitely the case. Perfect start to the afternoon for Alex Ferguson and for the Chelsea Anderson. To his right is Valencia getting forward from his position at right back today. Valencia's ball across and it's into the net. It's two. Figala given far too much space. Well, he didn't get a great pass in, did he? But he was in that area that troubled the centre backs. Valencia, who I said would get down that side, puts the centre backs under pressure. Olsen's got no other option than to stick his foot out to try and knock it round for a corner. Wonderful ball in. Can't do a lot about it. Hernandez in behind him if he'd missed it, so he had to get some sort of contact on it. Otherwise, Hernandez himself might well have scored. A little space, which is frightening all four of them. Nice cleverly. Acres of space for Butner to get a shot on goal. It's three inside half an hour. Butner scores. United's third. Again, just runners from midfield. Absolutely tearing them apart. Two centre backs getting pulled towards the ball. Full backs getting in tight. They're all over the place because they just don't know how to pick up the Man United players. And this pass just gives Butner the perfect opportunity to blast it in the bottom corner. Gives it away to Malumbu. Opportunity here for West Bromwich Albion. Dorans inside the penalty area. Low across to the centre. And Albion get one back. Malumbu plays a good ball out there. It's a nice ball into the box. It's in the back of the net. I'm not saying it would deserve. Morrison gets in there. He's been shoved up further up top to help out, so that worked for them. And of course, putting Butner under pressure. He should have done better though, shouldn't he? But at least Albion put a little bit of pressure on the defenders. A little bit of pressure on Man Trying to pick out Morrison. It breaks for Lukaku. Lukaku will strike a goal and Lukaku will score. Man United a little bit flat footed as well. Look, he. Yeah, he's sort of a bit off with his right foot. He's definitely tried to place it, and it's not right in the corner. Lindegaard gets a hand to it, but it's not the best dive I've ever seen. A little bit sort of a belly flop almost, isn't it? But Lukaku has paid dividends. Yeah, he just knows he's got a side footer with his right foot. I still think the keeper might have got lots of things that's made the game interesting now. Valencia looking to attack Bronx. Decent ball across, so it's another goal, and it's Robin Van Persie. Valencia down this right hand side, one on one, drills it across, centre backs behind, not tight enough to the forwards in there. Ball into the box, Van Persie, who hasn't had a chance all day, takes his first one, sticks it in the back of the net. Advantage Man United again, but it's not over. I think we could see quite a few goals in this game. Giggs makes a move up ahead, Hernandez in the centre, Van Persie arriving is towards Hernandez, and it's 5 2. Again, that ball from Carrick was just sublime, wasn't it? It's a lovely little ball in again. And look at that big fella's just a little bit cumbersome, aren't they, really? The two big lads at the back. It's a lovely little pass, this. Giggs joins in, he wants a part of the party as well. Brilliant little ball in there. Keeper doesn't know what to do. Two centre-backs don't know what to do. And Hernandez ghosts in there. And this time he just doesn't miss from there. He's had a head time to reflect on things. Now Lukaku, he's got the pace to get on the end of this, Romelu Lukaku, it's 5-3. Another mistake, isn't it, really? It's given them the opportunity to break back at them. Put this fella in this position, not many people stop him, big and strong and quick. And the finish was nice and precise. Took his time, knew exactly where he was going to put it. Good ball from Rosenberg with his first touch since coming on. Here's Malombo. Flash off the ball. Jones, play back across, oh goodness me, it's 5-4. Yeah, again, Lukaku has his touch, he's there, but Man United are all over the place at this moment from that goal. Not recovered, not got themselves settled, normally they would just take the sting out of the game once the opposition get a goal, but they haven't on this occasion. And Malumbu gets into the box for the second time in the second. Five minutes of the 90 remaining. Brunch, feeding Dorrance. To look to see where Lukaku is, instead he goes beyond Lukaku, and Lukaku inside the penalty area, scored! Butler doesn't even realise he's there, and Lukaku really just scrambles it home, heads it in at the very last minute again. He's been the man who's changed the whole game, in all fairness to him. 
his presence up there has just caused all sorts of problems. Look at a little header in the end. Lindegaard really hasn't helped anybody neither. He looks very weak at this moment in time. Man United paid the penalty. I love myself, Conor Morris. We'll hand you back to Paul in the studio. Thank you, fellas. And uh, I think on behalf of football fans watching all around the world right now, 